es un equipo de primera, Nostre Valencia, club de fútbol, que yo y tapera defendré, en totes bandes, los tres colos, en el camp de la Giros, y a comenzar. Well, a very warm welcome to you on this most pleasantly clear evening. Conditions absolutely beautiful, perfect for the beautiful game. Temperatures are kind as well, no doubt playing a hand in high attendance levels as well as an elevated level of anticipation here. Surely this is the hot ticket going around in this neck of the woods. It surely must be. Well, this really is a great venue. It adds so much character to every game it stages. Valencia have gone with what looks like an orthodox 4-4-2, Jim. Reminders of a, a golden era in English football, I should add. And it continues to hold its place in the modern game. Playing a second striker runs the risk of being outnumbered in midfield, of course, so... With the wider pairing and fullbacks, plenty of running has to be part of their play. And of course, the right service into the box. There's the whistle, and here we go. Cherishev. Gonzalo Guedes. Tereshev. Munyain gets rid without sophistication. Nice. It's taken out. That'll be a foul. It's not taken him long. And that's going to be a booking. And it's Gaia. And here's Cherishev. Good take and a big chance. Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. And what are they trying to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more to think about. Tries to get it forward quickly. Hugo Guillamon does well to read it and intercepts. Gonzalo Guedes. Muni Ayin tries to locate someone up front. In the end, they found themselves penned in, nowhere to go. Keeper sends it forward. Gabriel. Oh, for some tackle that. It's into a dangerous position. Driving on now. What can they conjure from here? And he's going long. And the ball is out of play. Hoists it forward. And it's Pacini. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Cherishev. Gets good distance on it. Forward it goes. 
good challenge, he just stood firm. Cheryshev! Cheryshev! Oh, that was no routine save. Well, that was high-class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high-class wage. And this could be the final action of the first half. In with a header! He's delivered all right! And grabbing that opening goal so close to half-time team affords them that extra little psychological edge. And once one of your main men that's doing the damage, it just grows the togetherness and it grows the spirit. Carlos Soler at his razor sharp best there. But for me, that's just pure predatory brilliance. It's not so much the finish, but the way he read the situation when nobody else was even alert to it. It's fantastic. Valencia. And the half time whistle goes. And there we are. Off they go for half time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half. But there has only been that one goal, which is very, very tight. Well, this team has found a real rhythm to their game. The players seem to have clicked well. There's good movement off the ball. The passes are sticking. No one's afraid to have a go. Valencia come in, having established that lead. A game where the narrative is. At least in terms of the scoreline, so far so good. So we're already into the second period. A solitary goal. That has been the crucial difference. Great lead! They've done it! Two up now, and they are cruising. It is a good finish. The odds score against him, little matter. Gonzalo Guedes really showed good strength there. Held his man off, didn't let himself get bullied, and got his effort away. Maintained control. Valencia take a two-goal lead, and things should be comfortable from here on in. We're looking at a very different game now. The command has been established. That's a promising ball. And just the goalkeeper tries a shot! A brilliant goal! A finish of true class! And they are cruising away. Terrific audacity, just gorgeous skill. Well, the goalkeeper would have helped to make his mind up on how he was going to finish it. Three without reply. This is becoming a stroll. Well, it's been a, an absolutely fabulous spell for them, and they're starting to look unstoppable. There could be more on the way. And they've got it back as soon as they gave it away. Carlos Soler looking to get on the end of this. Massive leap! Oh, extraordinary. Valencia are looking quite mean on the counter, and combating that requires even more meanness. Gonzalo Guedes 
Cooks through there. Cherishev. Hit into the middle. And it's hoisted clear. Bass. Shapes the shoot! And the ball's come out. Referee's had a good look and given a corner. Defending of the desperate variety. Valencia ran themselves into the proverbial cul-de-sac there. Valenciaga. And it's played forward. He's making good use of his strength there, just refuses to be out-muscled. Cherishev goes looking. And here's Raul Garcia. They're more than happy to take the muscular approach. Played out to the right. He gets past his man. Chance! Yes! It is no contest. It is a landslide. Speed of thought, efficiency of movement, and certainty of outcome. Yeah, and all engineered, Peter, by some smart running and movement. That's already something to admire, but how about the pass? Just wonderful. Loved it. He's made it three. Quite a day at the office for him. This is one of the best performances I've seen in a while. He's practically taken on this team single-handedly, and they don't know how to stop him. Time for a change in personnel. Yeah, it's pretty obvious as to who was going to be taken off. His energy levels began to, to sag, and he was never going to last until the final whistle. Valencia totally rampant here. And it's Muniain. What an adventurous run from a defender. Just brushed off the ball there. And here's Raul Garcia. Carlos Soler. Jose Gaia plays it forward. Cherishev drives it forward. Confirmation that there will be four minutes stoppage time. It's a loose ball. Gabriel. And that's that. Great day for attacking football, the artists have painted their pretty pictures. Only one team in it. Your reflections then, Jim. Look, we saw some textbook football from white areas that continued to produce expansive attacking play that was ultimately too hard to handle. They were simply too good in, in the white areas.